Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you how you can install an Android OS on your system and then play games on it without any emulator detection. And you can use it alongside your Windows via dual boot. So, without wasting any time, let's head towards the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. The best Android OS that is currently running with the latest Android version is Bliss. So, I will open my browser and search for Bliss OS. In the search results, the first one will be the official website. But if I open it, you will see a message here that a big update is coming soon. So, for now, we cannot download the OS from here. So, I will go back and scroll down to open the FileHorse website because the latest and original files are available here. So, we will find the Bliss OS 16th version here. I will download it. And after the download starts, I will also download Rufus so that I can make the USB bootable. So Rufus has been downloaded. On the other hand, I've already downloaded the Bliss OSISO file, so I will cancel the download and go to the download folder. Here you can see that my Bliss OS image file is here. And now I will open Rufus from the programs and plug in my USB drive, which Rufus will automatically detect and select. So I will now select the Bliss OSISO file and the default settings, like partition scheme is MBR, I will leave all these settings as they are and click start. As soon as I start, I will get many errors and warnings, like Rufus needs to download files to create the bootloader for this ISO file. So you have to click yes. And then it will ask you about the write mode. Do you want to keep it in ISO image mode or DD image mode? So I will choose ISO image mode. And finally, I will get a data loss error. I will click OK, then Rufus will start making my USB drive bootable. While it is making it bootable, I will show you the drive on which I want to install Bliss OS. As you can see, my drive is completely empty, which is why I want to use this entire drive. But I will show you both methods. What is the method if you want to use a specified hard drive? Or if you want to take some space from the drive, what is its method? So after the process is complete, I will close Rufus and restart the system. And on the boot logo, I will press the boot key, like F12 for most systems, and select My USB Drive from the boot list. So the Bliss OS menu will appear in front of me, and here you can see that I can run Bliss OS Live right now through this USB. So I will first use the easy method in which I will install Bliss OS on the entire hard drive. So for that, I will go to Advanced Options, and from here, choose the Auto Install to Specified Hard Disk option. The setup will load, and during this it will ask me for confirmation twice whether I want to continue or not, so I will just press enter both times. Then the installer will start, and after a couple of messages, the installer will ask me which hard drive I want to use and if I want to install Bliss OS on that entire drive. So you have to carefully choose that hard drive which you want to completely format and keep only Bliss OS on it. If not, then you should use the second method, which uses specific space. So from here, I will choose the 300 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive and click yes. And then I will choose the drive name. The default is Bliss OS, so I will not change it and click OK. Then the installer will first format and then ask for OTA update. We have to say yes to this. And after clicking OK on the Windows detection message, the setup will start the installation. After the installation is complete, two options will appear. Run Bliss OS or Reboot. So I will run Bliss OS. And after loading and pre-configuration, if I show you about in the settings, you can see that it comes with Android 13. And at the top, you can see my processor details. And below that, in storage, you will get 512 gigabytes ROM plus 16 gigabytes RAM. My RAM is only 16 gigabytes, but it shows extra ROM. But the free space is only as much as we have used. Like I use the 300 gigabyte drive, so my free space is 293 gigabytes. The rest is taken by system files. So now I will restart the system and show you the installation using specific space. So I will again plug in the USB and boot through it. And this time, I will choose the simple installation option from the Bliss OS menu. This time, the installer will start directly without any extra verification. And after warnings this time, instead of choose drive, the choose partition option will appear. And you can also see my Toshiba hard drive, which has two partitions created, 
one named EFY and the other named Bliss, but I don't want to use all the space. So I will select Modify Partitions, and from here, I will select the SDC, which is the Toshiba hard drive. Now, it will give me two options, whether I want to use CF Disk or CG Disk. CF Disk can handle both MBR and GPT, while CG Disk is only for GPT. So I will use CF Disk because it is easy and simple. Here, first, I will delete both partitions, so only free space will remain. Now I will choose the new option and set the partition size to 5 gigabytes because this partition is for ESP, meaning EFI system partition. And this is a necessary partition, but the setup will automatically make it a Linux file system type. So I will select it and choose the type option. And from here, choose EFI system. Now I will select the remaining free space and from it, create a new partition of 150 gigabytes. And this should be of Linux file system and I will leave the remaining space as it is. And finally, I will write all these settings to the disk, which will ask for confirmation. Do I really want to write? Because all my data on this hard drive will be lost. So I will say yes, and then quit. After the setup restarts, this time, first, I will select the five gigabyte EFI partition, because first, the setup is asking us to choose the EFI partition. So after selecting, I will choose the FAT32 option in the file system and then give it a name. And now I will select the 150 gigabyte Linux file system partition. And in the file system, I will choose ext4 in format. And I will leave its name as Bliss OS. And as soon as I click OK, the installation will start. And like last time, it will ask for OTA update. After saying yes to this, another option will appear. Which boot option do I want to choose? So I will choose the easy option, the Grub2 EFI bootloader option. After this, the installation will happen and my Bliss OS will be completely installed. After installation, I will run it. And this time I will do the complete configuration, meaning I will choose Wi-Fi. And after that, I will also add my Google account so that I can show you how to use the Play Store. So after everything is complete, I will use the home app taskbar for Bliss OS but you can use whatever you like. And now, if I open the Play Store, you will get every app and every game here that you use on your mobile, which you can run on the system without any emulator and play with your friends. And if I go to settings, here you can see that this time the free storage is 144 gigabytes and the total storage is 256 gigabytes, meaning our remaining space is unallocated. So if I restart the system, You can see that the Bliss OS menu has automatically appeared, meaning the Grub2 bootloader has been successfully installed. And here, at the end, the Windows option is also appearing, meaning the dual boot is also okay. And when Windows boots, if I open Computer Management and go to Disk Management from here, you will get unallocated space in Disk2 here, which if I want to use, I can create a new simple volume and use it. And you can see that Bliss OS is installed in 150 gigabytes, and I am using the remaining space in the system. So in this way, you can install Android OS alongside your Windows, and that too in your desired space, and then boot both via dual boot. In my next video, I will show you how you can install Kali Linux in VMware. So don't miss my next video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss an update from our channel. Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.